Hi guys, it's Bailey and today we're going to be doing the pregnancy test. I'm super excited for this video because I am now 30 weeks pregnant. I have 10 more weeks to go. Hopefully 8. I'm trying to pop this baby out by 38 weeks. <laughs> But um, I'm so excited, and if you'd like to know more about me, my pregnancy, and listen to this pregnancy tag, then keep watching. Question number one is, how and when did you find out you were pregnant? I found out I was pregnant, I was at my best friend's house, I had packed my stuff, we were visiting the States, and I had packed my stuff. I went to stay with my best friend, Acacia, who is like maybe like 20, 30 minutes away from his parents' house, from my husband's parents' house. And I had ordered a pizza and I was talking mad shit all Like I was talking so much shit all night. And I had threw up the pizza and we were getting ready to go out to a party. And I was like, well, you know, screw it. I'm going to get, I'm going to get sloppy drunk. I'm going to call him, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I was just talking mad shit. So, um, we ended up, you know, ordering the pizza. I threw it up, and I was like, you know, I told her I threw it up, and she was like, oh, Shawty, are you pregnant? And I said, hell no, I'm not pregnant. The f <laughs> Girl, what? Like, there was no way in my mind that I was pregnant. So, literally, um, she was like, just take the test and see. I was like, okay, I'm gonna take this test and we're gonna be a wasted a pregnancy test because I'm not pregnant. So, <laughs> I go to the bathroom and I take the test. <laughs> and you know how when you pee on the stick, it's like, it takes like, it says it takes like two to three minutes, literally like 20, 30 seconds, boom, it said pregnant. I said, I said, your test is defected. Like something is wrong with this test, the acacia. Something is wrong with this test. I was like, there's no way that I'm pregnant. So I took another one. Did it again. Boom. Pregnant. I was like, this can't even be happening to me right now. Mind you, I'm mad at my husband. I'm planning on going out tonight, drinking, you know, getting sloppy drunk, and just, you know, like, drinking my worries away. And then here come another one. <laughs> Question number two is, how did you feel? For some reason, I don't know, like, I laughed. Like, me and Acacia laughed for a good two hours. Like, her boyfriend came home and we were laughing. And like, he was like, what is so funny? And I'm like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and we're trying to decide, like, you know, what are we gonna do? Like, like, I don't know. I can't explain how I felt during that moment. I just know that it was not it wasn't the best feeling. I wasn't like super excited to be pregnant, but then again, I wasn't like, I wasn't disappointed. I was just like, I was very monotone about the whole situation. How old was I? I was 20 years old. I'm still 20 years old now. I found out um, maybe a little bit after it was, like, it, it was like a couple weeks after my birthday. Because we had went to go visit the States for some family issues. And it was a couple weeks after my birthday. And I had just turned 20. And I was like, and when I was 19, I was so, like, I was such a head ass. I was like, I beat teen pregnancy. I ain't got no babies. <laughs> and everything was literally just like, it was just like, you know, I'm like, I'm going back to school. I'm finna enroll back in class. I ain't got no kids. I got all the free time in the world to do what I want to do. And then all of a sudden, bam, you know, just like <laughs> a baby just laid right on me at that moment. It was, it was crazy. Question number four is, how did you tell your partner? Okay, so I was, I was at my best friend Acacia's house and literally she said, well, you got to call him. And I was mad at him, so of course I called him and I was like, um, I'm pregnant. And he was like, well, it makes sense. That was literally it. <laughs> there was like no backstory to it. Like he wasn't shocked or surprised. He wasn't like, you know, like, oh, 
I'm excited. He wasn't like, oh, mad or anything. He was just like, it makes sense, you know. And then well, we had been married for, what, 10 months? And, you know, newlyweds who've been separated for five months. <laughs> the first five months of your marriage takes a toll on you. So, you know, do wait three months to tell people why or why not. Um, I didn't wait three months to tell people. I waited two months. I waited until I was eight weeks pregnant to tell, like, people outside of immediate family and friends just because, like, word had gotten out already, you know, and I went to a dinner with my mom and my aunt and my uncle and my mother. She swore she already knew, so, you know, there was really no need to, I guess, hear everything else in because if she knew, then everybody else knew. So, is this your first? This is my first baby. This is my first baby. This is my first pregnancy. This is my first anything dealing with a child. I'm not a child type of person. So, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, um, this is like, yeah. This is my first. Yes. Yes. Question number seven is, do you want more? I do want more kids. I want um, a really big family. My husband has a huge family and my family is very small. It's just me, my mother, and my brother. And my family is very small, very secluded. We're not very family oriented people. Like, my husband is very, <laughs> very family oriented. So he's like, you know, let's, you need five, six, seven babies. And I'm like, listen, this one right here is so perfect just like our perfect little love child we don't need to bring more into the mix i mean we already have a dog <laughs> but i do want more because i would love to have a big family because i see the way that he interacts with his family so i can only imagine the memories that we would you know make with ourselves and our family it'd be so much fun it'd be great number eight what's your biggest craving um I'm not craving anything else. That's a lie. I'm craving everything that I can't get over here in Okinawa that I would be able to get in the States. Like I'm craving Chick-fil-A, I'm craving Zaxby's, I'm craving Sonic, I'm craving Dairy Queen. Shawty, I don't even like Dairy Queen, but the fact that I can't have it is making me want it so bad. But mostly Chick-fil-A and Zaxby's. Like I absolutely need it and I just, I can't. Like I really... <laughs> I can't. I'm craving it bad. <laughs> What's the best part of being pregnant? I think the best part for me about being pregnant is feeling baby kicks. Like, I don't think it's like, I don't like when people touch my belly. I don't like, you know, when people treat me like I have a disability or, you know, constantly asked to do things for me. It's like, I'm pregnant, not, not ill, you know? I'm pregnant. So... <laughs> Um, I think I just, I, I never get tired of feeling her kick because you know, that I means she's alive. So <laughs> I never get tired of it. I'm, I'm super excited. Like every time I feel her kick, I'm just like, oh, hey, Aurora, <laughs> you know, it's, it's very exciting for me. It's very fun. And I love when my husband, you know, talks to her and like lays his head on my belly and has like a little conversation with her. It's like the sweetest thing in the world. So sweet. So sweet. <laughs> Will you find out the gender? What do you prefer? Yeah, I did find out the gender. Um, so, um, it's a girl. Her name is Aurora. And, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I didn't have a preference. My husband preferred a boy just because he wanted somebody to play basketball with and, you know, teach how to be a man and box and all that stuff, which, of course, stuff that baby AJ can do on herself if she wants to if she won't box she can box she won't play basketball she can play basketball but of course you know like he wants somebody that is gonna be you know like he can rough them up and all that manly ugh, stuff that <laughs> you know you have to be more gentle with the little girl so he preferred a boy but I didn't necessarily have a preference um, I know a lot of people feel like I wanted a girl, but actually the thought of having a girl was very, like, scary to me because if she has an attitude, like, homegirl, <laughs> you're gonna have some issues, okay? Okay.
Do you have names picked out and what are the stories behind them? We do have names picked out. Her name is going to be Aurora Jane Comer. And if you know me, if you're a friend of mine, if you're a family member of mine, if you know like anything about me, the slightest bit about me, you would know that I am the biggest Disney fan ever. Like I love Disney. I am just like, <laughs> Disney is bae. And so, Aurora comes from Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is not my favorite Disney movie, Disney princess by any means necessary. She's not my favorite. She just has my favorite name. I've always thought that name was unique. I always thought it was beautiful. I always thought it was elegant. I always thought that it looked nice on paper. It looked nice in cursive. And so I've always, you know, I've always wanted to name all of my kids after uh, Disney princesses and princes, which is why my dog's name is Aladdin. <laughs> And my daughter's name will be Aurora. And her middle name, Jane, is of course from Tarzan. What's your birth plan? Um, I have an entire video based on my birth plan and I feel like this video is kind of long already. So I'm not even gonna <laughs> go through the whole spiel, but basically I'm gonna try to have like a natural vaginal birth and um, keep everything as natural as possible, no medicine, unless I absolutely need it. Will you breastfeed? I don't know if I'm going to breastfeed. I'm, like, I'm 30 weeks, so I probably need to uh, be making up my mind. I don't, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try, but I won't be disappointed, like, if my milk doesn't come in or if, you know, something like that. So, I'm gonna try, but I don't know how long I'm going to. I definitely don't see myself having a child hanging on my boob for an entire year so I don't know and even if I do decide on breastfeeding I'm thinking I'm gonna be exclusively pumping do you plan to work or be a stay-at-home mom in Okinawa while we're here in Okinawa I plan on being a stay-at-home mom and I plan on going back to school and getting my associate's degree while I'm here because you know I just there's nothing here in Okinawa for me to do. So that's what I plan on doing. And when we get back to the States, or if we're PCSing back to the States, um, I guess that'll decide on whether or not, you know, I get back into working or something like that. So, you know, you just never know. Is will you make your own baby food? Yes. Yes, I will. I will absolutely not be doing any store-bought baby foods unless I feel like it's it's safe I don't know I'm just very paranoid and I just <laughs> I will be making my own baby food because I do feel like it's something that I've always wanted to do I've always, I've always think I've been like more on the crunchy mom side like you know natural organic make your own DIY type stuff so I'm definitely looking more into that and the last question is do you have nursery ideas or themes I I am the worst decorator on the planet of this earth like I can't decorate for squat like it's just not in me I'm not one of those cutesy I'm not one of those cute fancy moms who you know like can do the whole gray and pink and you know really cute stuff like that like that's just not my thing and so I don't really have a theme but everything is very like gender neutral like I have a bunch of grays, a bunch of creams, you know, like soft greens and things like that. And I don't think, I don't think it's necessarily a theme, but I think it's like, it all works well <laughs> together. I think it all works well together. So I think I'm just going to continue to like keep that going for myself. But other than that, there's not like a, a theme or anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video is kind of long winded. I'm getting like super like, I'm like losing my breath. <laughs> I'm getting super tired. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you for um, joining me today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any updates of when I upload new videos. I really appreciate, appreciate you guys, all 47 of you now. <laughs> and thank you so much for just, um, being with me, being patient with me while I was away for so long. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.